And if I'm all the way, I've hiked out in the woods, you know, and I fell and broke my ankle like before something and nobody's there. Um, I remember having to crawl for a long ways because I couldn't, I couldn't, I was hopping. And uh, I mean, there's just so many different See, backpack, backpack with wraps and you get some, you get some sticks and. True. Yep. That's why, yeah, yeah, if I'm going to be in an area that I am further away or that potentially I don't have signal or any of that, I always bring extra water, you know, a couple granola bars go in there, some, uh, the first aid kit. And I always make sure I check the first aid kit, make sure everything's there. Um, you know, sometimes yeah. you go out with others and they grab band-aids or an ice pack or something. So I make sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, yeah. Especially since in our area, we've got the coyotes, the bears. Um, yeah. The people. <laughs> right. Well, and I went out this weekend and um, with Shauna and I, she's in chat. And we were detecting, you know, not necessarily in the woods, but on a pretty grown-up property of her family property. And I, I was showering off that night, and I uh, found a tick. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Yes, oh, they great. are go. everywhere. They were we, out. We had really we had a really right mild now. winter, and I forget. I think it was Deej might have been talking about having to have one taken off her and I was like oh Oof. that's never good yeah and mosquitoes it's all it's you know it's funny and you got winter and summer and spring like here it's it's been pretty gorgeous um except today it's like that March wind I guess March is going out like a like a Lion. um a lion right now. It was windy and chilly here today, although it was sunny and gorgeous. It was windy, which put that chill on. But yeah, um, oh goodness, you know, I there's so many things I love about spring, but then it's always you know mosquito time and and uh, you know people that are allergic to. Uh, poison ivy and all and allergies you know there's it's crazy we live in a crazy you know crazy (laughs) world of metal detecting and treasure hunting and all that everything depends on the right balance but I think for us you know the main thing is like you said being prepared and if you are going to be out alone I, I would definitely recommend you know Investing in a decent backpack for that kind of thing. Yep. Too, if you found any cool, like like you said, you found a lot of bottles lately. You know, you found those bottles and stuff. Mm-hmm. Or something really cool, you can pop it in the backpack and you don't have to yep. carry it around, you know. so. Yep. yep. And bubble wrap is lightweight. <laughs> like lightweight. Right. To, I mean, you can't get as much of it in your bag as newspapers, but it it's nice to have it be so lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> right. That and newspaper, um, stuff like that as well, helps for wrapping those bottles and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, yeah, tell me about some of your, tell us about some of your finds. Um, well, I got a melons food bottle and it's a sample and I've never actually had a melons melons I think it says um and then I'm not sure if I spoke about the other one that I had found and it's um it's an oil bottle but it's it's got it's green on it and I'm like what in the heck? green it, um trying to find a picture picture do you think I can find one no (laughs) no I can't find one um so I'll have to talk about it another time um but that it was really I thought the tip I thought the top of it was broken like the lip on it was broken but it's actually like a sheer top um which is pretty crazy I don't have any sheer top med bottles so that was really neat um 
Oh, I found some beautiful uh, heartbreakers. Uh, the most aqua of aqua bottles that were just, oh, man. Um, and then a couple olive green Pono bottom bottles like the that were broken. I, I, I'm going to rename the beach to Heartbreak Beach <laughs> because of the <laughs> amount of gorgeous color. Even there was a, it must have been a red decanter or a red something, but it is the darkest red. Um, and Red is relatively rare for those uh, listening. Um, oh, it has man, gold it's in on it. my bucket list. Yep. I have not found a red bottle yet. Yep. Only very, just the glass. Very rare. Very rare. Um, and then, you know, I was hoping, I don't know, I'm silly and haven't really been looking at the weather and whatnot, but, um, you know, I was contemplating getting out hopefully tomorrow afternoon and then I'm watching the weather and I'm like, no, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, something about it. When you get to the end of winter, it's like, yeah, it's cold. It's like uh, raw, I guess would be the better term. It's a little bit different than like in the middle of winter or the beginning of winter when you're kind, kind of getting acclimated to it. Now I'm getting right. like ready. It's been warm, relatively warm and and then to have it drop again, I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to have to wear the three layers out. Like, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Uh, yeah, this weekend when Shauna and I got out, um, it was like it started pretty cool in the morning, and then I would say about two or three. The first day, it started raining on us, and so we had to leave. And I don't mind rain because I, I was detecting rain, but mm -hmm. it was, you know, of course, lightning <laughs> starting to storm. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so we had to had to pack up. And then the next day, it was like we were swimming in and puddles, and it, you know, you go down to dig a hole, and it's like. <laughs> 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 Digging you in the, water. You got the squeegee mud. <laughs> yeah, the squeegee mud. But it was crazy. Um, we got some pretty cool finds. So um, I tried to start editing that video today, actually, um, but I didn't get very far. <laughs> mm. um, just, I don't know, some days, you know, you feel like, you know, uh, editing and other days you don't. <laughs> Today's been one of those don't days. Gotcha. <laughs> where I started and I was like, ah, huh. you know. But um, I'll talk about. Um, you were talking about mudlarking and stuff and bottles. So there's this ravine oh, yeah. out to the back side of this property there, where um, we we found or she had talked about it, that they used to do dumping there when, when she was a kid. It was her grandparents' property. And, um, her, you know, they had inherited it after, you know, family had passed away. And she was showing us, you know, where the dump, I did a little video went out there. And uh, first thing I found was I found a, a you know, a, a seat to a tractor, an old tractor, you know. And to me, I see treasure in almost anything. <laughs> I can I can find the use for something. So I just thought it was cool. And um and uh I grabbed it and ended up giving it to Shauna and uh I think she's gonna do something with it. Um for me, if I would have kept it I would have probably given it to my aunt and put it on the back side of her barn over there. She's got some really cool old farm implements, kind of as decoration. But, um, you know, I love repurposing items like that for something, for, you know, decoration. And it's just kind of nostalgic, you know, taking back, you know, to the past and stuff. Um, but, um Anyway, when we went down in that dump, <laughs> there was stuff all the way up to the 80s, you know. But I found these, 
<laughs> you have to wait for the video. But <laughs> these these old little kid plastic sunglasses. Yep. You know that you get as a kid, but the the lenses were had fallen out, <laughs> and they had Donald Duck on them. <laughs> and so I was walking around talking like Donald Duck. Ah. <laughs> anyway, um, you know. It's funny how little items like that can take you back. I swear I had a pair just like that. If I didn't, my brother did. I don't remember. But, um, <laughs> yeah, boombox. Um, you know, we didn't find a boombox, but, oh, my gosh, uh, there was even, I found, like, an old plastic thing that, you know, like, you remember the Hungry Hippos? I think they still have them today, oh, yeah. that yep. game piece. Uh, found a piece of that. Just lots of like really nostalgic, cool items like that. But one of my favorite, those were two of my favorite finds. And of course, there was Coca Cola bottles in there. And you know me, I love the soda bottles. I have a thing for soda bottles. And my favorite thing is I love the old Coca Cola bottles and the old Dr. Pepper bottles. Mm-hmm. And, um, I kept finding, you know, these broken Coca-Cola bottles, but I didn't find a whole one. And I was sitting there like, I looked on the bottom of one, and it was like sacrament, no, sacrament, no, what was it, San San Diego? Anyway, it was California, and I was just like, what, right here in Texas, you know. It's awesome. All the way from California, but... It's neat. I always enjoy looking at the bottoms of the bottles to see where they were manufactured, especially the older ones and stuff. And that one was from California, but I didn't find a whole one. I found one corker that I just had that beautiful aqua color like Mm. you were talking about earlier and gave it to Shauna. And uh, because I have so many, you know, bottles like that. I'm after the soda bottle. Um. Or the old embossed bottles, you know, but, um, we, um, we found another dump, um, on the adjacent property. Um, anyway, um, I found, um, one of those old World War One. it's either World War One or World War Two, probably World War One, because Shauna's grandfather, you know, fought in World War One. I. I found a jerry can hmm. that that you know you put the old uh, gas cans. Mm-hmm. I guess they're five gallon that you put on the jeeps, and you know Shauna owns a jeep, so I loved it. I wanted it, but I gave it to Shauna. Uh, of course, it's their family property anyway. But I was just so cool, and so she sends me a text earlier. And she found one, like, for sale online. Uh, it was, like, 144 145 something dollars Wow, that's crazy. I was Good like, find. wow. It was a really cool find. And then um, one of my, well, I won't tell you about my favorite find. Y'all have to <laughs> wait and watch the, 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 the video. So I'll try to have it out within this week. Um so y'all be checking my channel, but one that was actually something that belonged to her grandfather that I found out in the yard, it's silver. That's all I'll give a hint. And it pertains to war. And so it was really cool. That was probably my favorite find. But so we went in part of the house that, you know, her grandparents and even her father lived in when he was a kid. Um, is still standing. So we went inside the house and we found in one of the closets, just these boxes of old stuff. And so we started digging through them and she found old photos and we found old letters and we found some old books. And I, you know me, I love books and I love old books. So someone was like, Hey, you know, if you want them, take them, you know, cause they're going to get even more ruined, you know, here. So, I took the old books home and um, I found some really cool stuff in the old books. But one of my favorite things that I found in one of the books was a patch 
that probably belonged to her grand.